Welcome back everyone to our Medieval Kingdoms Total War 12-12 AD Byzantine Empire campaign. And recently in the last episode we managed to drive out our old nemesises, the Nicaeans. Out of their settlements in Rhodes and Sim Smyrna. Now we have several different forces here that are getting ready to put an end to these Nicene forces. Once and for all. So we're going to keep these guys here just in case they try to do a coordinated attack. These guys could still attack Atalaya, but Antioch I believe. No, they're not worth them, but we've at least driven them from their lands, and they are weak now. So once we finish them off, we can finally look towards easy expansion into maybe the Caucasus. Oh. It seems, speaking of which... The Abbasids have actually, oh, that's not good. That's actually not good. They'll be on our border. So the Abbasids have found a way to get around and get to us after all. Hmm. Although they're not too... Welcome. Hostile towards us, so maybe we'll just get a non aggression. Uh, let's see. No. Non aggression. I want, I want non aggression. I don't want these guys coming after me. We're not going to go to war against these guys. They are going to. You know what, it's not worth it. If they want one, then... My salutations and the good wishes of our people to you. Who are they at war with anyway? They were at Trebizond, King of Georgia. Maybe it's time to break and let us be by your... the military alliance with these guys. Because I do not want to have to deal with... Trevisand being the cause of a war against these guys. They're not going to be able to hold out against that. It's going to probably come to a head between us and maybe if the Crusader states join our cause. Yeah, I gotta finish off these last Nicey and armies are still around Venice is still around unfortunately will you not give our people a little gold you have much and we will not become the slaves of envy Why are they all sending their armies west? A straight and honest Roman road is not the path we walk. Our alliance is done. We're, we are the Romans. The last of the Romans. So I don't know what's with these guys. Where the papal states think they are, huh? A rebel army. Oh no. We're gonna have to deal with the rebels. Quickly. Before they grow strong. Too strong. Good thing is, my settlements are garrisoned against any rebellions. 
that could possibly happen. First of all, we're going to deal with these guys. I'm going to garrison Rhodes. I'll send this army inland. Leave this army here for now, just in case. Send these guys to deal with the Ottoman rebels. The Ottomans have finally come for us. A rebellion against the Ottoman Empire. But we control Anatolia, so as long as we can keep that control. Anyhow. If you do hear something in the background, that's just the rain from outside. I've been doing my best to keep these public order good. But due to the conflicts, we've had to um, leave some of our forces. But... We are now going to return. We're going to put down this rebellion. Okay, now the rain's really getting heavy. I'm going to recruit some. Just some scouts. Just for. Just to enlarge in this force. And deal the Ottomans a blow. Before they can do deal us anything. Do have Venice creeping down again. As usual. Hmm. I do think the Crimea would be a valuable settlement to take. So if we attack Trebizond, that would be a rather valuable source. Ooh, the public war is really bad down here. I'm gonna end the turn. Alright, excuse me for a second there. I had to go do something now. I had to close the windows, otherwise the rain would have gone really heavy with the noise. It's a little lower quality today, but hang in there. Military access. Where are these guys planning? No, I don't want that. And I see he's going to try to land their forces again. Carrion birds and jackals will grow fat on your carcass and lose the taste for your rancid flesh. Well, there we go then. The Abbasids have declared war. <sighs> Seems as if like every time something successful. Oh. Oh no. How many rebellions do we have? God dang. Oh my god. And with these Nicene fleets, we can never have a peace, don't can't we? Rebellions imminent again. We're gonna have to garrison. Ooh, actually, that increases public order quite well. I'm gonna just try to put down this Ottoman army here. Seems everybody's coming after us these days. Byzantine Empire has always been attacked by somebody. Okay, now the Abbasids. Ooh, okay. It's gonna be a tough war. 
Can we get... I'll pay you. A lot of money for peace. Hmm. Oh. That's not gonna work. This... We're still at war with Nicaea. But they should be pretty... Um... Weak by now. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna be a concern. So we can move our troops in into here just to prevent these um the incursion of the Ottomans. To the Abbasids and the Byzantine Empire. After a long period of time, the Abbasids have also regained some of their s former strength. I need someone from the east to come in and attack them. Now these guys... I listen because your people are known to have honor. Alright, we'll get some of our guys to join us against the Abbasids. United we stand. So now the Abbasids will have to face battle on several fronts. Antioch. Well. We offer you honest welcome. Abbasids. Friend, and hopefully later we will drink to seal our agreement. I'm not gonna pay that much money. Uh who else? Jerusalem. Well, they're busy. Who else can join the war? Bulga the Bulgarians, maybe? No, because they're dealing with Venice. Kumin Kipchak Confederacy. Perhaps, if we can get them to join. Nope. So, but at least we have the Kingdom of Alania. And what remains of Trebizond against the might of the Abbasids. Ulus of Tului. If we can get the Mongols, oh, they're trading. That's the problem. Uh, this does provide an opportunity for us to reconquer some territory. Trebizond is pretty garrisoned, so. It should be able to stand for some time, giving me time to reinforce my troops. Why do I? Ready for battle. At your command. We hunger for battle. Hmm. <sighs> okay, I need to raise a just just raise a force. Billion is so annoying. But at least we do have decent units. Decent armies. We have enough a lot of money too, so Yeah. These archers though are actually pretty very good. Now as for what remains unfinished. We still have to deal with the remnants of Nicaea's armies. We're gonna have to garrison here for some time until these guys eventually die out. Cause they're not gonna replenish anytime soon. That's for sure. I have onagers, I mean catapults for some reason. Okay. Murad the Beloved. We have these guys and these guys. Probably their main armies. 
Oh, this guy even has a cool name, Hassan the Undying. That's actually a very cool faction leader name. Michael the Impaler, Hassan the Undying. This could be like the new, like, big medieval rivalry that occurs. Like, the last big one was in the Crusades with Richard the Lionheart and Saladin, but now we have Michael the Impaler and Hassan the Undying. It's the second Abbasid Bulgarian. I mean... Byzantine, not Bulgarian. Abbasid Byzantine War, but we will prevail in this in this one. In any case, though, we do have allies helping us. As I hope they will help us, because you never know the AI of Total War. What? Let's get some units recruited and get ready for war against the Abbasid Caliphate. As war has we know that wealth can be arrived. If we get declared war on by someone like Venice right now, I swear that we're going to be screwed. Abbasids. They're dead. If you join the war against um, the Abbasid Caliphate, maybe I'll consider. Yep, they've moved forces into our land for the engagement. They will probably try to siege Trebizond first. Oh, crap. Who's this guy? What? Oh, jeez. What? Who the hell are these guys? Awesome. Oh, All the way down there. Probably they're vassal, I'm guessing. Yeah, they're... Y oh, yeah. Well, that's obvious. These guys even own any... S oh, they're pretty weak, though. Yeah, they only own. Yeah, all right. Well, we have one Abbasid army to defeat. Oh, but they're just like the Seljuk army that we've been facing the past couple of games. Oh, what the? Are those Jews? Caramanid rebels. There's some like Rump State. Just keep popping up. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. It's gonna be tough having to deal with all of this. I'll get reinforced. I'll get reinforced. Yes, I will get reinforced. Ooh, nice. And we'll crush this punitive rebellion. We're going to need to leave this army here to garrison, these two armies, to garrison while I get my main forces ready for the upcoming struggle with the Abbasids. I have a lot of cavalry though, we can easily put down their horse archers. Because horse archers are good when they're away from your units, you know like... When you're fighting the battle, the horse archers are actually very good, but when they get charged upon by shock cavalry or any kind of cavalry at all, then they they completely break. So when dealing with eastern factions, like especially those like in this kind of region here, they really like to employ horse archers. This in pretty much every sort of war game, like Rome 2, the Parthians really like to do it, and then now we have this in this mod. They have a lot of Skirmisher light cavalry units. Their infantry is not that good, honestly. It's just they have a, they 
I have a lot of horse archers, but it's gonna be a while to siege all of these settlements out. One more offer of peace. One more. One more offer, and they will not accept the Zengids. See who else we can get to join our war, just to even up the odds a bit. Be welcome. I listen and speak for my people in our Corn, Abbasids. Zengids aren't going to be that dangerous. If only I had more contact with some of the different groups down here. By the way, I do need to repair all of these. Oh my god, what the... I need to finish these guys. Don't get away. They're right out of attacking range, that's so annoying. Now I'm taking attrition. Yep. How old is this guy now? Um, faction leader is 45. So he's seen quite a lot. He will go down regardless of how this war against the Abbasids does. He will go down as a very good Byzantine emperor. Start off with only... Like, I, I say this a lot, but we started off with only one settlement at Dyrrachium. Faced up against... The Latin Crusaders that controlled pretty much all of mainland Greece faced off against both Nicaea and the powerful Seljuks of Rum took over Anatolia. Now we're facing probably the most dangerous opponent, the Abbasids. So, that's our family tree though. Who's going to be our... Ooh... Hmm. Our heir. So probably this guy. Let's see here, we have every edict we can. These guys can't attack us from here. They could attack Sinop though, but by then my units should be finished. So now let's end the turn one more time. And get ready for the actual war starts now. We, do not ask. we need all the money we can. I wonder who's the most powerful faction. Who's that number one faction? Probably England, or the Almohads, Caliphate. Oh no, these these guys are coming back. Oh, come on. This is delaying my attack on the Abbasids, because I've had to, because I'm worried that these guys are going to sneak up from behind. Hmm. They're going to siege. Oh, actually, no, they're going to... Oh. Oh no, those are just Asians. Never mind, they're trying to... Make my public order bad. We do not ask much. These darn papal states trying to take my money by... Yeah, they just broke the non-aggression pact, and then now they're... Okay, pay them off. Ooh! Dag, nap it. The thing is with this, so... Reserves of liquid fire have begun to dwindle despite your best efforts. So time has come to decide, should you pay the exorbitant sum required to manufacture more, or is it perhaps time to lay this wonder weapon to bed once and for all? Basically Greek fire, used in the Byzantine navy. It's only 10,000, I have enough. We pay for the restoration. Or we do nothing. Yeah, but we don't have- I'm not sure if we even have any units that can do that. But, just in case, Greek fire saved. So, yeah. 
Kingdom of Makuria and Abbasid Caliphate. Alright. The Abbasids are now being united against. Yes! A united league! We will face them in battle. We will prevail! First, we need to get our armies where they need to be. Though. Oh my god, these guys are still alive. We need to destroy these guys once and. Okay, yes! We can attack them. Put these guys to rest. End the Nicene Empire. Once and for all. And that will be it. We can now march against our enemies. Yep. Finally. Fine. Okay, so Hafs has actually died. And they have a new leader now. So this is where I actually end this episode. I will see you all in the next one.